let's start at the random and see who gets which teams in the box. Each list will go through the randomizer seven times. We'll stack the lists up side by side. We're talking about what what uh, what is it going to be? And with the Halloween theme, uh, I think we will get maybe a Deion Sanders or something, or maybe a Waddle. You know, the Penguin. Maybe we'll get the Penguin doing his Waddle. Here we go, seven times each. Each list goes through here. Let me get this in order here. I'm going to do the teams after the, the owner names. Anybody want to take a shot at what we're going to hit? Is it going to be a Hall of Famer? Is it going to be a rookie? Okay, back to the random. Maybe it's going to be a Megatron. All right. So, yeah, this one goes through. Let's do it. <laughs> the fridge. <laughs> wow, Joe, that narrows it down. Here we go. Lucky number seven. <laughs> oh, geez. What a wide range of answers there. <laughs> Yeah. What about uh, quarterback Grogan for the Patriots? Jim Grogan. <laughs> when I was a kid, they used to call scrubs scabs. Have you ever heard that term? I know you guys have. A scab. If you're younger, you may not have heard that. But somebody would... Instead of the word scrubs, they'd say he's a scab. I think that's so, like, really bad sounding. A scab? That's horrible. But that's what they would call a bad player. All right, here we go seven times. That sounds awful. <laughs> yeah, that's a really bad one. That's worse than a scrub if you're a scab. All right, here we go. Lucky number seven. Yeah, Kyle. Maybe it comes from that somehow. I don't know. I have to look that up and find out because that just popped in my mind from like a childhood memory. Thinking of Grogan and the Patriots, the old school Patriots scrubs. Yeah, I don't like it either. Such a such a bad descriptive word for a a bum. Uh Well, we don't want any scrubs, any bums, scabs, whatever you want to call. Them. We don't want any, want any of those, Joe. Joe's predicted a, a scrub for the break. But I'm going to say Hall of Famer, man. Let's go Hall of Famer. Let's, we're, we're being optimistic, Joe. All right. We got we got optimism going on. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you never know. Sometimes there's real big ones out of here. Sometimes it is a scrub. You never know. <laughs> Uh, most of the time, it's something pretty good. Sometimes it's really big. Sometimes it's not. I put it in alphabetical order. Okay, there's an interesting prediction.
Well, we won't have to do any more predictions any in just a second. Because we're going to know what we're looking at here. What is this thing? Good luck, everybody. Oh, I, I see white. That looks like white. That's definitely white. So that narrows it down quite a bit. Actually, it really does. It. Everybody's got white in their jersey. Okay, so we still have no earthly idea. Here it is. What's it going to be? That's part of the number, too. That looks like orange. Here we go. Jersey, Jersey, Jersey. Ho. Ho. Well, it's number 13. All I can think of is Dan Reno. It's orange, and it could be a... You know what this could be? Is a um, Keenan Allen. Chargers, uh, I think, have like a special Keenan Allen jersey in here. Is it a Mike Evans? Oh, there's the SIG, everybody. Of course, it's not a Dan Reno. What is, well, whose signature is that? Oh my gosh. All right, here it is. It's an OBJ. <laughs> Odell Beckham Jr. I think this is a Giants jersey or something. I don't know what, what team this is. Yeah, it's, I don't think it's a Ravens jersey. Well, I don't think it's a Ravens. It's it wasn't OBJ with the Browns for for a, a little while or something. It doesn't look like a it doesn't look like a um, Giants jersey, but it does say something about his rookie year on the card. So this is starting to get a little tricky here about who's who's going to get it. He's currently with the Ravens. I'm going to look up the authentication signature, the uh, code here. And maybe it's a college jersey because there are some college jerseys in here too. Let's see what college he went to. If Maybe open it up and look and see if I can see anything distinguishing on the jersey. Anyway, I'm going to get on this and figure it out. One thing we always use is football reference. Yeah, I'm about to find out what college he went to right now. That's my first objective because I bet you it could be his college jersey. This is what we always do anyway. Whenever I pull a jersey, I like to look at this anyway. And um, so there's a, there's a, he was with the Browns. I was right about that. In 2019 or 2021, there's a possibility this could be a Browns jersey. It's <laughs> well, I think it's definitely a special Halloween jersey. There's no doubt about that. It could be a Browns man. It's gonna be Browns or his college. It's kind of looking brown a little bit. Let me see here. It's not at LSU, okay? Yeah, he was at LSU, so it's definitely not LSU. It's 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 going to be a Browns jersey, you guys. Yeah, I'm looking at it right here. Okay, who's got the Browns? Because see that? That's brown. That's not black. It's a Browns jersey. So... Joe C. Congratulations, Joe C. Odell Beckham Jr. Boom. Jersey, Jersey, Jersey. Nice OBJ. He's, he's still doing all right, man. He's still he's still rocking. JSA certified. Bang. Here's his accolades. And I, I just remember him most for that catch that he had. It was like an unbelievable catch that one year, but... Uh, everybody remembers that one catch he did, right? Pretty iconic player. Of course, everybody remembers too. He was beating up these the 
field equipment and then got injured, didn't he? <laughs> Did he get injured beating up field equipment because he was mad about something? <laughs> right? <laughs> Remember that? Wasn't it like the kicker's net? <laughs> yeah. It was the kicker's net. He was he had a bout with a kicker's net. <laughs> oh man. How stupid. Okay, so I'm linking up the next Jersey break. That was fun. That was a good, good hit. And big congrats again to Joe C. with the Browns. Hope. 